Welcome to four part of my video 2 raised to power 3 factorial design. This formula is very important. SS is equal to contrast whole square divided by n because this formula will be used in computation of sum of square for all of the interaction and main effects. So first of all you can see it here that for the effect of A, um, this is the contrast of A. We got it to contrast of A that is equal to minus 813. This minus 813 has been used there compute the sum of square for A. Likewise, we have contrast for B is equal to 59 and this is used here, 59. Contrast for sum of square of C, the contrast of C is 2449. Likewise, I have to I have computed all of the contrast. Let me show you this at the A, B, C contrast is 45 and if we go downwards, we will see here that 45 whole square divided by 16. So likewise, you will have to calculate the sum of square for all of the terms and then make this table. In this table, you will have to write effect F estimate, sum of scares, and then percentage contribution. The method of percentage contribution is that divide the sum of scale for any uh, factor. Just like you can see, if I want to compute the sum of uh, the percentage contribution uh, for this factor B. So I will first of all I will take the sum of scale total. Now let me tell you that what is the formula for sum of total, sum of scale of total. This is the formula. We have i is equal to 1 to 2 means that the factor A has two levels. Then j i is equal to 1 to 2. The factor j has two levels. And then uh, k is a third factor that also has two levels. Then y i j k means that individual value. I, j, I, y i j k whole scale it means that I take the scale of all individual values minus y dot dot dot. It, this triple dot shows the overall sum or you can say grand sum. You will have to take sum of all individual observation divided by 4 and this n is the number of replications in that in this in our case we have two replications so i have computed the sum of scale total that is equal to 5314209375 and if you want to compute the percentage contribution of any main effect or interaction effect just divide just take the sum of scale of that factor for example for percentage contribution of b i have taken 217.5625 as a numerator for the uh, of b and then the sum of square total as in the denominator so let me write it here that i have divided sum of square of b to the sum of square of totals so this is the way that how we can con calculate the contribution of any factor or main effect after computing the percentage contribution it is quite obvious to uh, us that we have insignificant uh, term we have the main uh, percentage contribution of uh, factor c followed by the interaction effect of ac and then we have the main contribution of factor a and rest of so this is the full model that have been computed in the mini tab this is the output of the mini tab and we can see it here that the terms whose sum of scale value is uh, too small so we get all these terms as insignificant we can see it from the p value one these four terms are found to be insignificant and they can be dropped from the model we have two replication so the degree of freedom for one replication that is equal to eight that all of them are going to go to the error term for the computation of error term and rest of the factor a has two levels so it contains it has only one degree of freedom likewise for the factor b and c we have two levels so we got only one one degree of freedom for factor a b a c and b c using the formula we got one degree of freedom for each of the two and three factor interaction effects when the sum of scale is divided by degree of freedom we got this ms mean square of a mean square of b mean square of c so how this f naught value calculated when we divide this mean square of any term with this mean square of the error we got the f naught value then we will have to com compare this f naught value with the tabulated value for the tabulated value we can uh, for alpha is equal to 0 0.05 we will check in the table that 0 0.05 comma the degree of freedom of the numerator we have uh, for this uh, first one we have degree of freedom of the numerator is equal to comma then one and then comma the degree of freedom of the denominator is equal to eight so this value have will be checked in the f distribution table and i am quite sure that as the p value is less than 0 0.05 so you will get this value is smaller in comparison with the f naught therefore we reject the null hypothesis and we got a significant effect of factor a that is gap 
these are the regression coefficients and told you people that using the so these was uh, estimated coefficients these estimate uh, coefficients can be estimated by dividing the effect of any term you got by 2 all of the insignificant term have been removed from the model and we got a refined model in which we have taken only a c and the interaction of a c and using uh, these effects these effect minus 101.625 this one and these three effects we have computed over coefficients for the regression equation